do 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 Panimation Telestrator Mailbag Time. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Mike. Um, going through the mailbag today. I got one from Tony asking, Mike, is there any way to make the screen with the PowerPoint bigger? Hide some tools. I think he's talking about within the workspace of Panimation uh, Telestrator where you can actually see your NDI sources. Um, so before we get into that though, I want to just talk really quickly about what's going on on this machine. I've got PowerPoint installed on a Windows 10 machine along with uh, NDI scan converter which I'm using to uh, pick up the second monitor here which is running the PowerPoint slideshow or being pushed out to it uh, using my little play slideshow button up here in PowerPoint. I'm using NDI monitor, which is what you're seeing my little mug in right now here on this recording. Um, I'm also going to use this NDI monitor to demonstrate, uh, and I guess I can go ahead and set this up now, how the output of uh, the um, slideshow, uh, PowerPoint slideshow, will also have my overlays from Panimation um, or Telestrator. So you'll see that here in a minute and how I start drawing over it. Um, Let's see here, that would be basically the output of your switcher, your composited image is what that's going to demonstrate. Um, of course I have Panimation uh, Telestrator running as well as OBS to capture this recording. So let's get started. Now um, the question was how to make the screen with the PowerPoint bigger? Question, hide tools. So first thing I'm going to do is open up Panimation Telestrator which you can see here now. I have the uh, Logitech camera still as the active source. I'll go ahead and choose the uh, NDI monitor showing the PowerPoint there. He wants this to be bigger uh, here. So um, I am running, since he wants it to be bigger, I assume he's already using the largest window possible uh, to view it, which this is actually the second largest window possible. Um, I am using the uh, 1080 window version. Quick note about that, um, if you are running Windows 10, I have discovered with uh, some different customers in their display settings, they think they're running 1920 by 1080, uh, but then we recognize that this um, is not set for 100%. So if you're set for anything higher than 100%, guess what your desktop is not actually set for 1920 by 1080 it's actually probably something smaller like 1280 by 768 or something like that so everything I do is gonna be 100% 1920 by 1080 um, that said we do have smaller windows within the uh, Globecaster Telestrator um, folder which you can find um, just by clicking on the G and choosing from the Telestrator Okay, so find out which one works for your system. Of course, Telestrator itself is going to discover whatever your resolution is and give you the largest full screen window, but it'll probably take over any additional monitors you have open. Um, this is relatively new, monitor two will just uh, fill the second monitor, and um, anyway, the rest of it's self explanatory. So, take a deep breath, come back into the Telestrator tool. All right. So what we're working with here is um, basically your main toolbar, which is where all your clear and snap and all that good stuff is. You've got a bin that you can access content on your hard drive, um, any images or uh, paint tools that you have. And um, I have my workspace panel open right now, which you can get to by clicking on the little cog wheel there. Uh, but let's talk about making this window bigger. Okay. So one thing I can do is, um, you know, minimize some of this stuff, right? Like maybe I don't need to see this content at all, actually. Um, you know, if I've already set up all my favorites here, I'll just drag and drop this white box on there too. You can just drag and drop. Um, I'll go into 720 here and circles, and maybe we'll put a white circle in there as well as a blue one. So these are kind of your eight favorites basically and you can populate them. Uh, I'm just clicking on you know the, the borders and dragging um, to enlarge this stuff. A quick tip is shift click will just, uh, or I'm sorry, control click will grab the border with your mouse. You don't have to hunt for it. Um, so that's a quick tip. Control click. Shift click uh, will help you 
drag the window around. All right, so I really don't need to see this once I've got these set. Um, so I can just close it. And um, if you want to reopen it, you can just right click and choose new bin window and then parent to wherever it is you need to be. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to close that now. Um, I'm wanting to create, staying focused here, I want to create more space um, to view. Because I can zoom in, but you can see there that I can't see the whole image, right? So um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, again, um, shift click. Oh, we're dragging around. Um, I need to right click in this and turn off workspace position and size locked. That's really key here in order to drag the size of this window around. All right, so I'm um, just going to drag it up and drag it over and I can actually fill this whole screen this way. Okay, and then by hitting the clear button it'll center the image and now I can zoom in on it and I'm pretty much full screen. Okay, um, so now if I want to drag this little toolbar around I'm going to grab it by this little handle here and just move it around. I can actually um, just put it off screen actually if I want to like if I really need all if I'm really gonna need like let's say I just want this red arrow tool there um, you know I can move it completely off screen um, there's actually ways you can uh, even minimize this just by clicking on the arrow there but obviously it starts to crop off the images or the tools so um, anyway uh, let's see here the other thing I can do is maybe I don't like that size there I can come into the tool and instead of it being 1080 um, I'll turn off NDI for a second and just change this um, probably best if you disconnect your source too um, and then I'll change it to 720 and we'll do it by 60 okay see I see how that made that bigger there um, NDI is really really flexible in terms of the frame size or whatever and chances are your switcher is too um, so we're just looking at different alternatives for how to get the screen bigger right so um, that's pretty good I think uh, maybe what I'll do here is actually grab that and drag it down and put it back over there in that corner you can see I can just keep on clicking and I'm hitting the clear button to center it up for myself. So I'm just going to slow down and stop talking for a second and just keep working. Okay. So shift, click, drag. Okay. And maybe I like that right there. And we will have our animation uh, telestrator folder open right here. Okay. And I like to make my icons large so there you go now uh, last question once you get this laid out how you like it how do you save this layout this is actually a layout file right here this little Tetris -y looking thing um, I'm just gonna delete that and um, I'm gonna right click and say uh, save layout okay and there's my layout file so um, whenever you have something else open, or let's say this is over there, just double clicking on that will open that one that you saved out. Okay, so that, my friends, is how you do that. And uh, I'll just make a few little markups here and we can look at the uh, cool uh, output on NDI monitor and see what that looks like. Oh, that's a drag window. Okay, we'll just do this one here and drag a circle around that and move it over there and we'll just take a look at what it looks like on the NDI output there it is is there a way to keep this always on top application new monitor run at start output video probably is just not sure where okay so that is all there is to it I'm gonna stop this recording to keep it short um, if you have any other questions, obviously, feel free to email us at support at globalstreams.com. Thank you.